miscalculated that. Uh, where do I put it? Where do I put it? Okay, here for now. Ow, ow, ow! We are starting the year off strong. So it is the first day of the year, 2023, and I figured that I wanted to vlog this whole entire week so that I have something to look back to by the end of the year. I think it would be so fun to see where I started out with, and it's going to be a little scary because on Friday I finally have my ankle surgery, which was uh, very long overdue but I'm very happy to get it over with. And so this whole entire week is just me essentially getting ready for that and getting ready to lose my mobility all over again. And I don't even know how you get ready for that, but um, yeah. And today I just wanted to do my bullet journal, set up my bullet journal for the year. And I'm not quite sure if it's going to be up by the time that this video is published but if it is it's going to be over here in the top right corner and i'm gonna do that right now hi how are you how are you Why are you bothering me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Come back! So I'm essentially recording at the same time as setting up my bullet journal and Everything just takes twice as long when you're vlogging. <laughs> so this is taking much longer than I had anticipated, but it is all good. It's looking good so far. Happy with it. Can I go out? Okay, I apologize if it's a little loud because my niece and my nephew are home and they are playing with the neighbor's kids. Today I wanted to make a really nice hearty meal for the first day or two after the surgery and for some reason I have been really craving grilled cheese and tomato soup. It is just the best combo ever, especially in the winter. And because I cannot drive, I did Uber Eats, but for groceries. I don't know what that's called. Uber groceries, maybe. But it is just so expensive. This is probably just the second time that I've done it and the fees and everything else still surprise me. I feel like the actual items itself are also more expensive if you buy it through the app. And so I figured I would do that and um, do some cooking.
So for the grilled cheese, I like using the Sara Lee artisanal bread and I just have found that no other store-bought bread does it for me as well as this does. And I also like using the Kerrygold garlic and herb butter as well as some sliced Colby Jack cheese. Okay, I think I'm pretty much all set here. I have my little cozy corner where I will be staying for the next six to eight weeks. I shall be one with a couch, but it's okay because the TV is literally right there. And I, <laughs> give me a second. Um, I just wanted to do this because, okay, a little bit of background. I'm trying to do a no buy month for the month of January, which means for 31 days, I will be buying nothing new. And you would think it's easier for me because I am immobilized and I'm not doing anything. But really, I, I shop on my phone, I shop online, I shop in person. It really is a problem. So I'm trying something new this month. And so the only... <laughs> The only things that I really could buy are absolute necessities and I figured I would do a little bit of unboxing because this is probably going to be the only unboxing that I can ever do this whole entire month and so I hope you will <laughs> indulge me because I'm going crazy. Um, but the first one that I got is a waterproof cast cover and bandage protector and I just think this is so genius. I don't know why I didn't buy this back in July when I first broke my ankle and it let me open it up it's essentially a vinyl thing where you put your foot through and um i guess it just keeps your bandage or your cast dry which i will definitely need and the last thing that i got is this big thing which i'm really excited about it is An adjustable leg elevation pillow for my foot. I just think it's really cool that people have really cool inventions for, for things that you never even know that you'll need. And so this one actually, this one was not that cheap. This was probably like 35 bucks. Hi mom. <laughs> I'm doing an unboxing for my YouTube channel. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. It's like the same color as my couch. I love that. I expect it's going to inflate in the next 24 hours, but it just holds my foot in place so that I can keep it elevated and above my heart at all times. How do you feel? Scared. But also it's like 6.45 in the morning, so it's too early for this. But let's just get it over with. Let's go. So it has been a full week since the surgery and everything went really well. I would say that the first couple of days were so rough, but all the prep work that I did 
definitely did pay off. The pillow was my favorite thing and having some tomato soup and grilled cheese was just so comforting. I spoke to my doctor yesterday and he said that everything is healing very well and I should be back on my feet sooner than later with some PT and that was a really, really good thing to hear. I am just so excited to put this chapter behind me and I definitely was doubting whether I should share this on here since it's a little more personal than my other videos, but I figured because, you know, since I shared my experience with traveling to Paris with a broken ankle, I figured I should share this one here on my video as well. And so I just wanted to say thank you for coming along on my journey so far and being here. And I am so excited about what 2023 has to offer. I hope when I'm watching this in the end of the year, I get to really reflect on how this year started and I really hope that by then I got to do a lot of cool, fun, adventurous stuff. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.